Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Today, we're not going to be making soap. I'm going to show you how to make an extra special lip balm that's infused with skin loving calendula. Are you ready to get started? To infuse our oils, it's really simple. All you need is a double boiler, 16 ounces of a long shelf life oil like olive oil or sweet almond oil or jojoba oil, and your herb. If you can believe it, this is only half an ounce by weight of calendula petals. That's why it's so important to buy from a vendor that sells your herbs by weight and not volume. Be teaching you how to do the heat infusion method. Add your herbs to your double boiler. Now add 16 ounces of sweet almond oil or whatever oil you've chosen into your double boiler on top of the herbs. Leave this on the stove on medium, never unattended, for at least 20 to 30 minutes, stirring frequently. I'm only making enough infused oil for the projects that I'm doing today. If you're interested in making large batches of infused oil to save later, that's fine, but you need to do some research on how to properly make and store large batches so they don't go moldy. I've written an ebook that's available at brambleberry.com for how to infuse natural herbs. Or you can do a lot of research at your local library or by learning how to can and preserve products. We're using calendula to infuse our oils with because calendula is super soothing to skin, especially chapped lips, and it's a natural anti-inflammatory. Let's check in on our infusion. Looks pretty good. To strain this, just pour into a fine mesh sieve. Then take your spoon and push it down into the petals. A lot of that oil just stays in the petals and we want to get every ounce of that nourishing skin loving oil out. If there's extra plant detritus left over in your infusion, you can always do a second strain through fine muslin cloth or a tea bag. Now that we have the main superstar ingredient for our lip balm, we can start prepping the rest of the products. Combine 2.5 ounces by weight of our infused calendula sweet almond oil, one ounce of beeswax, and half an ounce of coconut oil. Do you want a slightly harder lip balm recipe? You can totally do that just by decreasing the calendula oil by a full ounce. So you would use 1.5 ounces of calendula oil instead of the 2.5 ounces. This will get you a much harder balm that will really last through those hot, hot, hot summer months. Melt this in the microwave for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Pull this out of the microwave and give it a good stir. Keep stirring until all the beeswax pastilles are fully blended in. If you're stirring and stirring and stirring and they're not blending in, you can melt it some more, but just do it on 15 to 30 second bursts. Melting wax in the microwave can be hazardous to your microwave's health. If the glass turntable on the bottom of the microwave gets so hot because it's trying to melt that super high melt point wax, it can actually shatter. I've had this happen to me twice and I would hate to have it happen to you at home. And now it's time for another superstar ingredient, shea butter. We're using half an ounce by weight of shea butter. We add this after we've melted all of our oils and we let the hot oils naturally melt the shea butter. The reason for this is because shea butter is really persnickety. It can get grainy if you melt it in the microwave. We're using bleach stevia today instead of the all natural green stevia because I really want the natural golden color from that infused calendula to shine. Stir this all in. Keep stirring. Stevia doesn't dissolve in the oil, rather it suspends. So keep stirring until this is around 130 degrees. At that point, you can start pouring it into tins. Before we pour this, there's one final trick I have up my sleeve to share with you. The cold spoon trick. I've had this spoon in the freezer for a couple hours. That's because if you dip it into the balm like this, instant hardness. So I can instantly check to see how I like this balm on my lips. Just put a little bit on your finger. Yeah, I like it. Now if I didn't, this would be the time that I did adjustments. So keep that in mind so you don't have to scrape out all of your lip balm after it's fully hardened. Now it's time to pour into our tins. This recipe makes about 16 pots. Let these harden, put the lid on them, and you are done.
Thanks so much for joining me today on this free Soap Queen TV episode of How to Make Lip Balms. If you're interested in learning more about lip balms, including on how to make them in batches of 50 for large-scale production, Brambleberry.com has a premium Soap Queen TV episode where I really go into all the ingredients behind lip balm making and more technical how-tos. Until next time, thanks so much for joining me. Happy soaping! Stevia. Stevia actually is naturally green, but green lip balm doesn't look as good as, well, nice looking oily lip balm. That sounds so stupid. Flesh colored. Flesh colored. Okay. You don't need to explain that. It's in the script if you had read it.